Hi guys, welcome to another video. This is part two of our Transkai trip testing gear. Here you can see uh, we get great sunrises in the morning. This is a bit of drone footage showing the sea conditions for the day. For those of you interested in the location, this is the Transkai Wild Coast. One of these cottages here is ours. This is day three and uh, just looking at our surf conditions in the gully where we launch. Remember, there's no slipways or harbors anywhere near, so everything is done straight off the beach. Once out at sea, we set up one of our camera gun mounts and uh, made sure the view was correct. And here we go diving. So as you can see, first spot, conditions were not much better than the previous days. And here Bevan found a nice bronze breed. These are very good eating. Here we have Jeremy down lining up on a Scotchman. Same poor visibility. He's using a short timber line. Note the difference in the recoil. This uh, roller with the added mass of the timber and lead dampens that recoil so much more compared to the previous shot you would have seen with just the standard double rubber muzzle. If I have to choose, this Scotchman to me is the better eating of the two, but everybody has their preferences. A few hours later, Jeremy was on the bottom trying to croak in some, uh, we call them punsies, also known as black muscle cracker, and in came a white muscle cracker. This is not common to have them in the deep, although they do occur there. Most of the time you get them right in the shore in the white water. Here. So we put a marker and at the same time we wanted to test one of our new designs, basically a float with a longer flag. This elevates the flag much higher above the surface, allowing the divers in the water on rough days to see the marker from much further away. A few dives later, a kingfish or ignoblis, GT, swam into Jeremy's view, pretty much a from the hip shot, dirty water and a good body shot, but these fish are not good fighters. They're very dirty and uh, it took all his gear straight down into the reef. He had tried to hold it off the bottom, but uh, eventually it got the better of him and managed to strip off enough line and get straight into the rocks. But 
start. Get another gun. Another gun. Second gun was called for. Jeremy went down. Alas, too late. Fish gone. So after many more dives, Jeremy finally managed to croak in one of the punsies or black mussel crackers and just the right size for eating. The bigger ones aren't as nice as these medium size. <laughs> This shot here with muscle cracker through the cheeks seems to definitely subdue them much quicker. It tends to stun them quite substantially. Way better than uh, a body shot. This zone is quite soft and spears tend to penetrate through it very well. Also very good holding place. We think there's possibly a lot of nerves in this area and it's almost a knockout blow. This is another drone shot later in the day of our lawn site. You can see all the local cows on the beach, they really enjoy it. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, please like and subscribe. Stand by for the next. <laughs>